Hi everyone, it's Katherine Middlebrooks of BRB Yoga. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what the sacroiliac joint is, why it causes people so much trouble, especially after they've had a baby, and what you can do in the short term and what the goal is in the long term. If you don't know what the sacroiliac joint is, it is, you actually have two of them. It is the place where your spine enters into the pelvic bowl. So you have one on either side of the spine. In a healthy, normal body that doesn't have any issues with these joints, the pelvis is able to kind of rotate a little bit on either side around the spine and it doesn't cause any issues. But many people, especially after they've had babies, tend to have issues with one or sometimes both of their SI joints. In general, most of the time I find that people tend to have pain on one side only. So how does this show up in your body? Typically SI joint pain will show up one-sided, kind of right at the low back kind of right where you can feel at the back of your pelvis you have this big bony part of your pelvis it will be right above and to the inside of that pelvic joint what's going on well very often with si joint issues what happens is something happens where one side of the pelvis gets rotated and almost gets stuck in that rotated position and it tends to put a little bit of pressure on that side of the spine in that si joint why is this so common after pregnancy and giving birth and also in women in general? Well, because the pelvis is connected to so many muscles. It's connected to the core, the back, the inner thighs, the outer thighs, right? It is connected to a lot. And when you are pregnant, the pelvis expands, which changes the way those muscles work. And then when you're not pregnant, sometimes the muscles stay a little lax and you can get hypermobility of the pelvis. So the pelvis becomes a little more loosey goosey and that can result in one side of it getting stuck, rotated forward. This also tends to be a problem with people who are very hypermobile in general. So a lot of yogis have SI joint issues because they're just more flexible, their pelvis has more mobility, and that causes a stickiness of the SI joint. What do you do about it? I like to take the approach of both a short-term approach to get you out of pain, and then a long-term approach to prevent the pain from happening as often or prevent it from happening at all. <laughs> So let me first talk about the long-term. The long-term goal is going to be to create stability around the pelvis. As I mentioned, a lot of times the muscles, especially after pregnancy, are lax. Very often you will have asymmetries. So you'll have like one inner thigh that's way tighter than the other thigh. That, any sort of imbalance like that, will pull on one side of the pelvis and will make those SI joint issues worse. So that is why the long-term solution is going to be to create stability and balance in all the muscles around the pelvis so that you don't have anything pulling on the pelvis and the pelvis is not as mobile. This is exactly what I teach in the Fix Your Hips program. If you are struggling with SI joint issues regularly, I highly encourage you to check out the Fix Your Hips program and think about doing the work to stabilize your pelvis. That's the long-term goal. With that work, ultimately, you should have fewer instances where your SI joint is out of place, where you're in pain. That's always the goal. But that takes time. <laughs> it definitely takes time. So in the short term, what do you do to just get yourself out of pain. There's a couple of things. I'm actually going to link to a video from these physical therapists that show just really simple adjustments that you can do to your body to kind of get yourself unstuck and get yourself out of pain. This is a short-term solution. Doing this will not fix the issue long-term because you'll still have those muscular instabilities and over time you'll, you'll just end up stuck again. So yes, use that short-term fix to get out of pain, 
But remember, you also want to be doing the work so that long term you have less movement in your pelvis and this is less likely to happen. Another short term fix that you might want is an SI belt. This is, again, not a long-term solution because you don't want to rely on an external tool for stability. You really want to teach your body and the muscles to provide that stability for you. But that takes some time. So in the interim, an SI belt may help. What is it? It's just a really simple piece of elastic that goes around the pelvis. It will kind of hug the pelvis in and it helps provide the stability of the pelvis by this inward pressure. So it helps minimize the amount of movement that's happening in the pelvis. This can be helpful, especially immediately postpartum or even during pregnancy. During pregnancy, the pelvis is super mobile. So an SI belt can really help provide stability and prevent pain. So it's good for pregnancy, postpartum, and if you are just someone who is constantly dealing with SI joint issues, to be used, again, short term, while you are building the muscular stability so that you don't need to rely on an SI belt forever. So that is all about the SI joint. Please let me know if you have questions. I will link below to the Fix Your Hips program if you're interested in that. I will also link to a blog post where I go through my recommendations for different SI belts. Thanks a lot, see you soon.